What do you think every person on this planet wants? Family, friends, money? Well, you're wrong. Every single person in this world only wants one thing, internet fame and hot women. But how do you obtain such an improbable thing? Well, you whore yourself out to YouTube and pull in an audience. But how does one do that with no connections, creativity, or talent? Well, much like a cult, YouTube and its leaders rewards creators who appeal to a general population. They specifically rely on personalities that make their audience feel special and as though they're part of the community, when in fact their emotional connection to an entertainer is being exploited for money. Now, many personalities deny they make videos for personal or financial growth, but that's a lie. For example, I tell people I only make videos for fun all the time, when in fact I'm slowly building an empire that allows me to build an aquarium half the size of New Jersey. I'll call this aquarium Watertown for when the world is flooded due to the state's ignorance. I'll remain the king of sea people and do as I please with any fish person's wife or daughter. But how am I supposed to get there? Having done no research, I've devised a scheme based only on my opinion and educated guesses that I believe will make every single person famous. But how does it work? Let's put it this way. The YouTube algorithm associates engagement with keywords. Say you have three videos with slightly different titles that all manage to get high engagement. For example, Ronald Reagan eats food. My dog Ronald ate my cat Reagan. Ronald and Reagan, two lesbian lovers eating each other out. In this case, the keywords are Ronald, Reagan, and eat. Now, anytime someone posts a video with these keywords in the title, it's given a larger reach to a new audience. So now that we know how to exploit the system, why hasn't a charming, sexy, hilarious, and beautiful man not taken it upon himself to do just that, exploit the system? That's because everyone is stupid, unlike me. Today, I'm starting a movement that brings power back to the people and not the person. I will do this by creating a challenge called Caroline's Eating Ronald Reagan Challenge. This consists of me taking a picture of Ronald Reagan, putting it in my mouth, and then swallowing it. After performing the first task to completing this challenge, I move to phase two, calling upon my following. This is when I ask each and every one of my followers, subscribers, or friends to participate in the challenge I have just performed. They too will then make a video performing the challenge and calling upon others to do the same. Soon, the flow of fame starts. Now you might be asking yourself, I've never posted a video before in my life and I don't have a substantial following. Why should I even make this video? Well, that's an easy question with an easy answer. It doesn't matter how large your following is. So long as you make a video, you're supporting the cause. And because you use the keywords, Caroline's Eating Ronald Reagan Challenge, YouTube will promote your video regardless of the content. However, in order for this to work, you as a viewer must engage with the video itself. That means anytime you see a Caroline's Eating Ronald Reagan Challenge video, you have to like and comment positive messages. For example, you could write, Thank you, brave soldier, for fighting the good fight and participating in the beloved Caroline's Eating Ronald Reagan Challenge. That way, YouTube knows the Caroline's Eating Ronald Reagan Challenge is viable content to attract an engaging audience. So let's go over what you have to do in order to obtain internet fame and hot babes. First, like and comment positive messages on this video. Then, take it upon yourself to make your own Caroline's Eating Ronald Reagan Challenge video, inviting others to do so as well. Post it everywhere you can, across all platforms and means of communication. And anytime you see a Caroline's Eating Ronald Reagan Challenge video, be sure to like and comment. Okay, my friends, good luck on your journey, and may the strongest survive to see Watertown and the fish people who protect it. Thank you.